So, so why don't we, um, I'd like it in that case, if you first uh, talked a little bit about what is art in your opinion. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what the, 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 the definition of art first this, this before talking goes, about right? it. Okay, this, yeah. this introduction is where it goes, but I think the one when so so the element uh, for me that is more important, the two elements that are more important in art for me are exactly this are some sort of a, um, analysis of, mm. your human, of, the, of the human condition, but also the world and uh, uh, a, a analysis that doesn't have to be necessarily um, a, a logical uh, end. I mean, the way we look at the, at the world, the way artists look at the world, sometimes they, they look at scientific processes and then they mess with them or misinterpret them. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But that's part of, that's part of the artists that also create, create an alternative, not necessarily logical, um, um, uh, approach to to the analysis of of the of the universe, um, and um, th therefore that's why I like this this cataloging of of um, things that, mm. that 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 live that are around. And if you want, it can be it could be comparable to um, the the fascination that. Um, in antiquity, well, in antiquity, and during during the mostly during the Renaissance, uh, artists and popes and nobles had for fragments of classical art that was that were resurfacing in pieces, and those pieces uh, had an aesthetic independent from the original meaning that that piece of work had. Mm -hmm. Simply because they were not connected with the cultural uh, period anymore, it was lost, but also with their pieces. So the aesthetic of the fragment is something that really fascinates me, not just me, many, many, um, many artists also are fascinated by that. It's how you kind of use that, that, that will eventually um, make your, you can make your own interpretation of um, uh, how to use this fragment. So the fragment, be it a sculpture, be it uh, the head of Constantine or, or uh, the arm of the Alcon or, or whatnot, is something that um, I relate to. Uh, I do it with shells, with bones, instead of doing it with classical work. So mm -hmm. I, my, the natural world is my, uh, uh, my um, uh, field of research, I, where I, where I, where I scavenge my, my parts. The fragment, uh, yeah. Yeah. So there's this idea of, of the list and cataloging, the catalogation of the universe. I'm right? mm -hmm. making a list, and then given uh, the scientists would catalog animals. And yeah, yeah. animals named islands and species and, ge and genus, etc. I do something similar, but not necessarily scientifically. I just create new thing, right? So that is that is one thing that art is is, is transformation, is transformation interpretation. Mm -hmm. uh, the religion, or I think there's an affinity in, in, with religion because I think art is also transcendence. So the, the transcendence and the transformation are, are the thing that I would most associate with art. Of course, aesthetic, right? Aesthetic is very important, but the transcendent aspect is simply, um, uh, it's a make-believe kind of kind of thing that is then believed by yourself mm. and a lot of people, right? So like religion. So mm. um, if I take a piece of paper, rub some graphite in it, and suddenly that is, uh, Gabriella, mm -hmm. the portrait of Gabriella, right? Mm -hmm. And then people don't see that as a piece of paper with smear charcoal. It is yeah. this is a person, even if they know you, with with specific moral attribute, with specific narrative. We start imposing our narrative to that mm -hmm. to that piece of paper. So that's transcendent, right? It becomes something else, uh, pretty much like 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 religion. Mm -hmm. The religion seeks transcendence. Uh, but it also imposes transcendence or, or on an idol, for example, on an image of a god, right? So um, transcending is is believing in something that transcends this, mm -hmm. but also when we see an image of a divinity, um, that that piece of wood we paint on it is not a piece of wood we paint on it, it is a divinity that evokes a transcendent mm -hmm. situation. Mm -hmm. So I think that these are the two the two most important things I would say that I associate with art or that define art with me, for me, uh, this, um, this uh, uh, transcendent aspect, right? And, and then the transformation. Transformation is, is very important because that transformation is a very active um, 
moment where mm -hmm. we we alchemically almost change transformation the, yeah change the natural thing right um I'm taking notes on the on the laptop. I'm not like replying to messages or anything. Just so you no, know. No, no, that's fine. No, that's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Um, so um, that's why I had to kind of introduce introduce the, the art and science and religion. Mm. I think they are really really intertwined uh, aspect of the, the how the human brain works, right? Yeah. Um, and if you want, they 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 kind of. Or assume, well, kind of represent three really core aspects of who we are, and and we all tend to gravitate around one of these three, but we don't really have a usually just a think only one way, right? So mm. uh, we kind of have a little bit of science, maybe a little bit of religion, maybe a lot of art, right? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have all this. Uh, um, I believe that in contamination. I really do believe in contamination, in kind of interaction between uh, yeah. mm -hmm. the overlap, overlapping, but also mixing up ingredients in different different levels. So um, when I, for example, just to give an example, practical example, when I teach um, when I teach art techniques, right? I don't teach just one technique. Mm. I teach at my best. Of course, there are techniques that I, I I'm better at and take it. I teach all techniques that are essential i think and uh, each technique has to be learned as if it were the only technique meaning this is not better than that then once you understand four or five different techniques because the technical aspect of making art is um the greatest name for, for, for duchamp, duchamp right technique is important right mm -hmm. retinal is important is a great part of uh, of, uh, of the creative process but i teach um, these uh, different approaches because then when you my student understand the technique then they can adopt whichever technique they want or mm. part of this or part of that part of that that is conducive to creativity mm. if i teach only one technique i teach you my technique then you become a clone of myself not right. a clone necessarily but but my, my my scope is not to tell you what what is aesthetically or creatively uh, important is maybe it's how to to reach your own uh, um, aesthetic aesthetic mm. goal, and that's going to be your problem. So, but I think in my experience is that understanding uh, the, the, the technical um, the study of the technique really reveals things that you might not have thought about before because you you'd make a mark. You say, oh, same drawing, same subject, but one done with charcoal, one done with with uh, crayon mm -hmm. they're different yes. yeah yeah of course so do that you can see how that expands uh expand the, the creative possibilities of, um, of an artist just change the technique um the, the, the way i i like to compare it to how I, I like to compare this process is when you go to a library looking for a, for a book on the correcto right audition and then you find a, a cooking book next to it mm -hmm. and say, ooh, cooking book. And yeah. Of course, you don't find Tintoretto next to a cooking book, right? But as you... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> as, as you walk through the library. <laughs> well, it's, it's, as you walk the aisles, you say, oh, wow, nice colors in that uh, mm. of, of, uh, of lasagna, right? Maybe I should use that palette. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, no, I mean, yeah, I'm forced, I'm, I'm, I'm exaggerating, but I think that... Um, being exposed to great diversity, uh, technical, um, cultural, etc., is um, probably the one of the main ingredients for uh, that lead to creativity. Mm. Um, okay, so um, I from this point that you're talking about te technical, just knowing different techniques uh, to produce work, then I want to go back to something else that I wanted to ask you, and then kind of walk back to where we are now. Um, because um, I guess I am curious about how you feel having been a medical illustrator for how long? Um, so I started in 80, 1980. Um, I started with the army in 1984, but I started probably, yeah, basically 1884, 